was really, really loud and uncomfortable. Hey everyone! Okay, so today's video is going to be a my first makeup tag video. Um, I was going through some of my makeup a few days ago and realized there's lots of really, really old things in there that I ways that I used to wear makeup that I don't anymore. So I thought it would be really interesting to do like a comparison video where I show you some old makeup that I used to wear versus the makeup that I'm wearing now. So I looked this up on YouTube because I was sure that there was a makeup, a my first makeup tag out there somewhere. But it turns out that I only found one specific video related to that topic. So I'm going to credit that YouTuber with the start of the my first makeup tag. And her channel is called Miss Glam Bam. I will link that specific makeup tag video below for you. So please go check her out. Her video was really interesting. I think she actually made it quite a few years ago. So she was a little younger in that video than she is now. But she is still recording YouTube videos. So check out some of her new videos as well. So she had a specific setup for the way she wanted her tag to go. Um, my tag is going to be very similar. I don't have a lot of some of those makeups that she mentioned in her tag. So um, actually what I'm going to do is show you what I do still have and probably just mention some of the things that I don't have. Um, at the end of her tag she did ask for us to show some of the newer purchases that we've made um, in makeup. And so what I'm going to do is show them to you as I go through my old makeup. So. <laughs> This video is going to be sort of an old makeup routine versus a new makeup routine because my makeup routine has changed so much and it's just really interesting to go back and see how we did our makeup when we first started learning about makeup versus how we do our makeup now, now that we sort of know what we're doing. Um, so I am going to tag a few people to do this video. Um, I'm going to mention those people at the end of this video and I would love to see your videos on this topic. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to mention is this basket. This, uh, ignore all the stuff inside of it because that's just all junk now. But this basket is a basket that I made in an art class in high school. Um, for any of those that are watching this video who also went to my high school, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So we made these little baskets and this was what I kept my makeup in for a really long time. Um, I had a really small uh, dresser. So I kept a mirror on top of my dresser and this basket full of like six makeup pieces and that was the makeup that I wore to school every day. I didn't really start experimenting with wearing makeup myself. Like me put like <laughs> I've had other girls put on makeup for me when I was younger, but as far as me putting on my own makeup and actually wearing it seriously to school, I didn't start doing that till I was in high school. So I waited until I got comfortable with what I was wearing and started to enjoy what I was wearing and then I started wearing it to high school. So that's around the time that I actually started wearing makeup and you know I kept it all in this basket so let me show you, also want to show you this because this is pretty funny. So all of the makeup that I used to own fits in my two hands which is pretty funny because now I have three or four little storage drawers full of makeup. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is the face and back then, this is high school. Um, I just wore this, this is considered a pressed powder, but this was just a pressed powder CoverGirl foundation and it was a little bit more fuller coverage than just the standard pressed powders. I got a lot more coverage out of this than I did with just the actual powder, so I always use this. It comes with this, this is actually pretty old. I just kept it because I switched to liquid foundation, but it comes with this little cosmetic sponge and that's how I used to apply it. Um, yeah, so, so that's that. So to compare and contrast, um, I am now using liquid foundations and as you've seen in my previous videos, my favorite liquid foundation is the CoverGirl True Blend stuff. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Just kidding. So, they actually, they're both CoverGirl. I just found a liquid that I preferred, and I don't any longer use this powder because um, I don't like the application of it anymore. It actually probably still looks pretty good, but I just prefer the nice, clean look of a liquid foundation. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about are eyes. Um, I did use a little bit of eyeshadow, but I was not familiar with how to wear eyeshadow. I would wear maybe one to two colors at a time, and the first eyeshadow palettes or probably eyeshadow at all that I started experimenting with was 
the LA Colors. These are the two palettes that I had. This was a blue shade palette, and this was like a pink purple shade palette. Um, I should also mention to you that the first place that I started shopping for makeup was at Dollar General. Um, I'm pretty sure they have those all over the country, so you might, I'm sure you're familiar with Dollar General. Um, so, <laughs> they had this LA Colors brand, and that was most of the makeup that I bought because everything was like a dollar, between a dollar and five dollars, and I never had any of, any money really, to, of my own to spend on makeup. So, if I did spend money on makeup, it would be really cheap makeup, and that was what, that was where I shopped. So those were the first two eyeshadow palettes that I bought. I went through a phase in high school where I wore a lot of black eyeshadow. So you could see this color got used the most. And I did try on some of the blue and some of the pinks and purples, but I just never really, never really went crazy over those. These are my current favorite eyeshadows. I have plenty other ones, but my current favorite ones are the two Morphe palettes, and that's just because there's so many different colors in one palette, and since I have two of them, I have twice that many, so there's just so many colors, there's transition colors and lid colors, and you can create so many looks off of those two palettes, so that's kind of my go-to eyeshadow now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is blush. This was the little blush that I used to have that I would wear on my cheeks. And I have never been able to get very much color off of this, um, whatever you want to call it. I've never been able to get much color out of this to begin with, but I always got just enough color to create a natural look on my cheeks. And I have stopped using it because I just don't see. It's, it's really funny. Watch, watch this. Do you see the color on the brush? Now, I think my hand is clean, right? I don't think I have any residue from when I just swiped that. And if you can see that color swatch, I think it's right here. If you can see it, then you can just barely see it, I think. So it really barely put any color on my face at all, and that's why I eventually quit using it, because I didn't like the application of it. So, some blushes that I'm using now are going to be, the first one that I started using was this, this e.l.f. palette. This is one of their blush palettes. This is in the shade Dark. They have one called Light. So, this was one of, this, these are not the first blushes that I've started using since that one. I actually have a small blush collection, highlighter collection, bronzer collection. And you can let me know if you're interested in seeing those specifically. Specifically. But these are some of my favorites right now. These are the ones that I am using the most. They're easier to get to. And also this Tarte palette, which I've also showed you in a recent video. Um, that's also something that I've been enjoying trying more lately. So that would be an updated blush for you. My all-time favorite eyeliner from high school, I just dropped on the floor, was... I've talked about this before, but I've never shown it to you, so you might actually be interested in seeing it. They do still sell it, and it is still good quality eyeliner. I've just switched out for another one because the application process was a little easier. This this got pretty easy for me. This is the Maybelline Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like this. This is actually one that my mom used for years and years, and so I would just go into her room and grab hers and use it, and eventually I bought my own, and it took me a long time to figure out because this is... um. This is a little felt tip, and it's very fine at the end. So it actually took me a lot of practice to get the line perfectly straight underneath my eye, but once I learned how to do it, I did really love this one. It was very black on the eye, and it lasted all day, and it's waterproof, so I really did enjoy this one for many years. And all of a sudden, for no reason, I discovered the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus which is, you know, an eyeliner. It's just a little, kind of like a mechanical pencil eyeliner. And it's creamy. It was just a much easier application. I didn't have to be as precise as I did with the Maybelline. And I don't really know. I think I was just wanting to change it, change my eyeliner and just do something different. So that's why I bought that and I ended up sticking with it. So that's the eyeliner that I use now, which is the Maybelline. I mean, the CoverGirl. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about is lips because that was 
all that I used to wear on my face was the powder, maybe an eyeshadow, definitely an eyeliner and a mascara, which I also didn't mention a mascara, I'll have to get to that. Um, and maybe a blush and maybe a lip product. So the mascara that I used to use I no longer have because I quit, ran out of those and quit using them and started buying Maybelline. But I did used to use a dollar mascara from Dollar General and I believe it was the LA Colors brand or it could have been any other brand but it was always just a one dollar tube of mascara. Um, I still actually like cheap mascara. I don't like a lot of the fancy mascaras that are supposed to do all of these things to your lashes because I just have always preferred a clean simple coat of mascara and I find that now if I want a little bit more volume I'll do two to three coats of that mascara so even now I can still get along fine with just a dollar mascara so that's what I used to wear and now I am wearing just the Maybelline well the Maybelline Colossal Mascara is what I'm wearing right now but usually it's just like any kind of Maybelline mascara. It really doesn't matter what kind of mascara it is. I'm not very picky when it comes to mascara. So I'm now going to get to the lip products. The I'm going to show you three lip products. Two were the first two lip glosses that I remember using and wearing. Maybe a little bit younger than when I was in high school. And then I'm going to show you the first lipstick that I started wearing. Which I actually didn't purchase until I was 19 or 20. And I really didn't start wearing color on my lips or any sort of lipstick until I was 19 or 20 because I never liked the feel of them and I just never felt comfortable in most of the colors that I tried on. So the first lip glosses are both by Avon. I think they were both given to me by a friend. One is, these are so old I'm sure they're not sold anymore. <sighs> One is called Fruity Lip Juice and it's just a purple color and I never could wear this fully on my lips, always had to put just a little bit of it on and either blot it off or just put enough of it on that it still looked sheer, but it was a pretty color when I when I did wear it, one way or the other. <laughs> Sometimes if I put way too much of it on and it was really dark and purple, I didn't like the way it looked. Who knows, I might like it now. And then this is just a sheer nourishment Avon lip gloss in a pink shade. This did go on pretty sheer. It never really gave me full color. So I liked that because I wasn't into full color lips when I was younger. Not even in high school. So the first lipstick that I ever bought was a Maybelline brand from Big Lots. So I'm not sure if they're still selling this shade anymore. I haven't been able to find it at the drugstore. And I do believe that when it came to Big Lots, it was probably being discontinued. And that's why I can't find it anymore. This is in the shade Born With It. And it's just a Maybelline lipstick. This was the lipstick that I wore when I got married. I don't have any footage of that on YouTube, but if you're friends with me on Facebook, <clears throat> if you're a friend of mine in real life and you've seen my wedding pictures on Facebook, this is the lipstick that I wore in that in those pictures on that day when I got married. So I'm going to swatch it for you. I always, for some reason, this color, the first time that I tried it on, I just thought it was so flattering. So I've always stuck with colors like this. It's kind of like a, um, they're not true reds and they're not pinks. They're always in between. Those are the colors that I normally go for. So, to show you some of the lips, lip colors that I'm using now, and there's a lot of them, because I always wear something different, like a different brand every day. I have so much lip stuff. I'm always, always buying so many lipsticks and things like that. So, I have quite a few that I'm going to show you. So, some of the ones that I've always used in the past couple of years have been the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipsticks. I have these in four colors. I don't wear all four, co four colors of these. I bought them because I thought they were all pretty shades. Some of them didn't work out. Some of them are just something to wear every now and then. My two favorite shades were the Eternal Rose, which is, I think, hold on, that's not right. My favorite shade to wear, which was similar to this one, but slightly darker, is the Infinite Iris. And it looks like this. And then I have two pink shades, depending on if I'm feeling a dark pink that day or a light pink that day. The dark pink that I use is the Eternal Rose. 
and this is very this is pretty pink so it just depends on what mood I'm in and the light pink is called perpetual peony 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 oh wow that sounds terrible whatever okay so it looks if I can turn it up it looks like this and it comes out pretty light on the lip so it just depends on what mood I'm in that day another favorite lately has been the Rimmel full lip liner full color lip liners I've told you about these I'm gonna do a lip swatch video I've said it enough times that you probably don't believe me anymore but I am going to do a lip swatch video so that's on these right here I'm wearing this one today um, it is in the shade East End Snob and I do think they make pretty lipsticks if you want to color your entire lip in instead of just using it as a lip liner. This particular color here actually reminds me a lot of the Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Patina. That is uh, the lipstick that I wore in the, uh, I think it was the Sephora haul video. So if you're interested in seeing what that lip color looked like on me, you can go check out that Sephora haul video. It's very easy to get to because I don't have a lot of videos on my channel yet. So you'll be able to find it. But um... This Rimmel color actually reminds me a lot of that color. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same shade or not. I haven't compared the two of them. And even the wear is similar to me because once these are applied on the lips, they have the look of a lip... Ugh, I knew I was going to say that. They have the look of a liquid lipstick once they're applied. And so, I like them. My other go-to lip shade color has been the High Voltage Lipstick by NYX in the shade Wine and Dine. I've talked about this one before as well. And this is if I'm feeling very, very, very dramatic because it is a very bold, deep red color. Another one of my favorites right now are the Stila Liquid Lipsticks. These are still in their package because I'm going to do a lip swatch video on those as well. Um, the only one that I've taken out and worn is the color Patina. And so... I don't know how all the other colors look on me, but if all the other colors look as good as that one does, this is going to be one of my new favorite go-to lipsticks. I have really enjoyed the one that I've tried so far. I've worn it for like four days. I think it, I know it was three days. I think I've worn it for four days, and I really have enjoyed wearing that one. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of those if all of these colors look pretty good on me. I never use lip brushes or eye brushes or anything like that. If ever I needed to apply a liquid foundation, which was not very often, I always used just a plain cosmetic sponge. I didn't bring my brushes in this room either. So I just wanted to let you know that that was another one of the things that I used to do differently than the way that I do now. So now I have lots of brushes that I use for eyeshadows and things like that. The brushes that I used to use for eyeshadows were the... Well, I don't even think you'd call it a brush. The little pads little padded brushes that used to come with the eyeshadow that just came in the eyeshadow palettes. That's the standard way that I would use to apply my eyeshadow. So now I use brushes for eyeshadow and brushes for my face and things like that. That's one of the ways that I've changed doing my makeup. And I didn't bring some of the other products in here but I also wanted to mention that I used to never wear bronzer or highlight. And I have started adding those into my makeup looks now. Also, I never used to do my brows, and now I will fill in my brows. Um, I think it's funny because I actually never even knew what bronzer was until I started watching YouTube videos. And then I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I had no idea there were so many different things that you could do to your face. So that's another one of the things that is pretty funny. Used to, it was just like face powder, eyeliner, mascara, maybe an eyeshadow. And that was the extent of my makeup knowledge. And I'm sure I have many more things to learn, but I have learned so many more things since then. Okay, so that completes this video. Um, I feel like it was a little bit all over the place, but I hope you got the gist of what I was trying to explain. I think it's just interesting to go back and look at all the things that we used to use and used to know about makeup and compare those to the things that we know now. Um, again, this tag was started by Miss Glam Bam. Her makeup video... Our, her makeup tag video will be linked below, so please go check that out, along with some of her recent videos. I think she's really entertaining to watch. And I am going to tag some people. Um, first of all, obviously, I tag everyone watching this video who might be interested in putting up a video of their own. Um, if there's any way that you know how to contact me, just leave a or If you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, you can contact me there, of course. But... If you can't think of another way to do it, just come back to this video and comment and let me know that you've created a video of your own. I would love to go watch it. 
Um, I'm going to tag Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lights, who may never see this video, but if they do see this video, I'm going to try to let them know about it. So if they do get back to my channel and they do watch this video, I'm interested, definitely interested in seeing some of their older makeups. They may no longer own them anymore, but it would definitely be interesting to see how far they've come with their makeup knowledge and some of the older things that they used to do and some of the ways they used to apply their makeup that may not have even been the correct way to do it. And then I'm going to also tag some newer YouTubers that I've been watching lately. I'm not sure if they're new or if they're just, they just have a small subscription basis right now. But I've enjoyed watching quite a few of them and so I'm going to tag them as well. Okay, I've made my tag list off of the new subscribers that I've been watching. And they are going to be Beauty and Budget, Brie Osborne, Jamie Renee, Kaylee Creates, Madison Kate, Melissa Autry, Miss Amy XO, and Too Simple. Um, actually, Miss Melissa Autry is not, she doesn't have such a small subscriber base, but she is someone that I've recently started watching that I've liked. All of the rest of them, I think, are either pretty new to YouTube or just have a smaller subscriber base, and those are the ones that I've really been enjoying watching lately. So I'm going to have all of their channels linked below, so please go give them a watch and see if you're into the, those videos that they're putting out. Um, I please ask that since, as far as we know, we cannot, I cannot find anyone else who has done this tag. So as far as I know, and as far as Miss Glam Bam know, Glam, oh my God, and as far as Miss Glam Bam knows, she is the only one who's done this tag. So or who has created it. So for all of those who are going to do this tag video, please credit her with that tag and link her channel to your video as well and perhaps even as well as my channel so that people can see mine too. Um, so, I just said, I think that's it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and go start on this video. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with um, and I'll talk to you later, bye. So something I wanted to mention to all of you guys watching, um, I am very, very, very thrilled to know that there are people watching my channel. I may not have very many views and I may not have very many subscribers, but I'm very thankful to all of those who have already subscribed, all of those who have already watched the videos, and especially thankful to all of those who keep coming back to continuously watch videos. And relating to that topic, something that I did want to mention to you was if you are already subscribed and you are interested in being notified of my videos as they are posted, if you go to my page and look next to the subscribe button, there should be a little icon, I guess you would call it, that looks like a little bell. If you click on that, it will automatically notify you of videos that I post, and I believe those notifications will go straight to your phone. Otherwise, if you're just subscribed, I have found I'm not always on YouTube, well, I am now, but I didn't used to always be on YouTube, so a lot of the people that I did subscribe to, I never did keep up with any of their new videos anyway, even though I subscribed to them because I just wasn't logging into YouTube anymore. So if you are that person who wants to be subs who wants to be notified of any YouTubers specific ugh, of any YouTubers videos that are being uploaded, you can always click that button and it will notify your phone without you having to always log into YouTube and continuously check to see if your people that you are subscribed to have been uploading videos. Thank you so much to all of those of you who are watching. It really does mean a lot to me and I can't wait to see this channel grow. I'm hoping that it grows and um, please continue to support me. Just in viewing these videos alone, I gain a lot of support. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to let you guys know how happy I am doing this channel and how every time I get a new subscriber, every time I get a new comment, or even if it's not a new comment, it's just from a friend of mine personally, it really makes me happy. And so it really encourages me to keep going. And I, you know, every new, t new YouTuber needs that because they don't see their subscribers growing and they don't see that their views are growing, they start to, you know, think, well, what am I doing this for? But I have been enjoying doing it, so I will probably will continue to. But I just wanted to let you know that I am seeing all of the comments, all of the likes, all of the subscriptions, and it does make me really excited, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm really, really thankful of all of the support that I've received so far. So thank you very much.